Uh, just turn off. Right, there we go. We won't damage thing. But look at these numbers. Look at how fast the material is filling up. I'm bringing in more stone, thousands of stone. More stone than I would normally bring in at all. So, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion. It's dark. Reforged Eden 2 Beta. I'm 7 Foot Dust Bunny. And I brought you back in because I don't know, I, I didn't get shot per se, but I, as you see, I've made some modifications to the ship here because I needed to get some more stone resources just to finish off um, these, which I've done a bit of extra to off camera. We did have a small base attack. Um, which we fended off, but took some damage over here. But nothing too serious. Now, as you see, I put a large harvest container on here, which I've been getting some trees in. Yoink. And I put a drill here, as well as a harvest module. This is because I'm going to need some more diesel. However, I'm not sure what the hell was going on. But over here, something was plinking away and I'm not quite sure what was going on, but there were bullets flying all over the place. Ah, now I see what the problem is. I couldn't quite tell before. There seemed to be bullets flying around everywhere. But what you can see here is there is one of those and my base gun turrets are trying to take it out. That's what's going on. Hello. And it felt like I was getting shot. The ship was getting shot. I wonder what the hell was going on. I was like, why am I getting shot? Um, now the base attack we had was a little bit worse than some of the others. We'd had, um, a couple of proper proper bombers this time um, which definitely gave me a bit of pain took a bit of taking down um, I want to take those hot dogs because they're probably gonna get killed and I would like the hot dogs first please thank you um, yeah we'll burn down these trees I'm gonna go and get a bunch of wood so as we've got some extra fuel and on top of that, as I said, I want to go pick up some extra stone, which is why I bought the mining uh, head. And ultimately, this is things I might well grab off and put on the SV in time. In fact, I might end up putting a large harvest container on the SV um, as 8000 carry capacity is quite a bit and would probably do for most our needs. Uh, for a while at least anyway but I'm going to carry on harvesting and I'll bring you back in hopefully around daylight and we'll start looking at building an SV okay I kind of feel the need to bring you back in here now I'm going to test this out because I don't know if it's this stone or what's going on but I'm using the drill which I've installed and it seems to be slightly insane um look I'm going to aim at this rock and then just watch the material numbers that are coming in. In fact, we're going to, I'm going to position myself here so I'm slightly on this bit of ground so I don't sink again. Um, but look, just watch. One, I'm using shitloads of power, which is a bit weird. I'm using generator overload. Um, that's because I've now got the constructor running. So let's turn the constructor off a second. I didn't have the constructor running before. Um, can't see it. There. Constructor, just turn off. Right, there we go. We won't damage thing. But look at these numbers. Look at how fast the material is filling up. I'm bringing in more stone, thousands of stone. More stone than I would normally bring in at all. Bring something like this in. I'm going to try it on one of the other boulders. I'm wondering if it's a bug or something. Because 
what I'm ending up doing now is sort of hovering he or, or going here within 50 meters of my base and 50 meters of my hover vessel so I can actually just transfer the goods across like that because my hover vessel can't hover <laughs> enough to actually get across the water and I got so much now I've got enough to sink a battleship now I am going to go and try it out on another stone a second because I don't know why it's so insane I don't know if it's supposed to be that insane if there's a bug with that one piece of stone let's try this piece of stone right here um, and see if it does the same maybe it's a bug yeah so I would say it's a bug with that piece of stone I've got that can't remove. But it's just producing ludicrous amounts of stone, which has saved me quite a bit of time in mining. Um, I mean, I could just grind everything out of stone, but that would be cheesing it. So I'm not going to. Um, but yes, interesting occurrence. Anyway, we're getting towards morning and we're going to start thinking about building our SV. So, oh, and before you go away, we want to grab this. We picked up some meats while we were there. Keep ourselves well fed. So let's grab those bits and we'll put that back in here. I'm going to probably link up to this inventory a second and take a stack of this stone and plonk it in this constructor right here so you can make me another 100 concrete blocks please thank you right so with that we're going to start thinking about an SV um, now I've been having a look at the tech tree because the tech tree is changed a bit so we now have small ions and we have things called small plasmas and now small plasmas seem to be a lot better but require things I lack like titanium I don't have much in the way of titanium um, I mean I might have some titanium plates eight so I could probably get maybe at best one small plasma um, which would be nice probably for lift I noticed they're significantly more CPU efficient I think But like over here, for example, I think it's the size that's the good thing because it's one by two by one producing 420 kilonewtons. And the, there's not really anything in this category that starts to do the same thing. Like this is one by one by one by three by one. And that produces like way more. I mean, I was thinking of using these types of engines. I'll be honest, but it's going to be a matter of whether I've got the materials, things like cobalt alloy, in order to to do that. And I can see some upgrades in the future of the Soul Piercer, which I think we will see again in this series. Um, so, with that in mind, I. Th not quite sure what direction we're going to be taking this now so we should have a starter block here which actually let's uh, link this up nope oh, not what I wanted let's link this up and still not linked okay better right cockpit some generators couple of fuel tanks couple more fuel tanks of O2 tanks now whether I'm gonna just chuck a large harvest container on there and be done with it I don't know 
The really annoying thing I noticed regarding harvest containers is sort of how they lay out versus a cockpit. Um, the cockpits are all three... I mean, apart from that one, which is two. Um, well, what? But we're going to pretend that's not there and hope it goes away. Because that's a bug Imperials have for a while. But I see that happening. You still there? No, he's gone. Happy days. Right. So, cockpit wise, I need to find a size that will work well with the cargo container. I mean, I always like that legacy one, but I don't think it upgrades to a like armored one. I can't even see it here now. Um, let's not go for that. Let's go for say this. But obviously you'd be putting it on the side of like one of these, which is a four by four. So the thought here is that you would end up sticking it like this somewhere with a bit of blending and a bit of thrusters. I mean, I don't really like the shape, you know, but this, but these things are so ludicrously CPU efficient. Um, if you look at them, we'll look at it in here a second. This is 50 CPU. So let's say that's 50 CPU. Let's have a look here at these. This, for example, this is going to be 25 CPU plus one CPU. So uh, 50 CPU of those would be they're 125 a piece if you do them all square so you need 25 of them that's going to be 200 it's not going to be as much my math says it's not as much maybe my math is wrong but my math says it's not a, as much significantly so hmm so with that, I'm going to stop a second and give a little thought to how I'm going to lay this out. Okay, so I've used a couple of blocks um, and I need to take my connected base off probably um, to give myself a bit of space, really, just to sort of make sure this doesn't fall directly on the ground straight away. And I'm going to plonk my starter block there. I've looked long and hard at putting a harvest box on there. And I think the answer to that is no. I'm just not going to be able to live with the shape. So for a hover vessel, I'm happy to do that. But I think in truth for this kind of ship, I just, I just don't want it for the look. I just don't think it's going to look nice. So, with that in mind, we're going to plonk this up against there, like so. Right, and that is at least step number one of the vessel. So we now have core and some blocks, and we have the steel plate. I'm going to want a detector for sure, and we're going to want some fuel and some power, but I'm going to want to protect the core. Now, what I'd love to do, which I don't think I can do, I don't think I've got the resources for it, is to actually make like a T1 core for it. Uh, 
Do we have such ability? Not a T1, you know what I mean. A core extension doobie firkin thing. So let's have a quick look here whether we can unlock such a thing. So under a small vessel, we have already unlocked the basic CPU extender. And maximum amount two, really? Okay. But what do they require? Cobalt alloy and titanium plates. You see, I, I just don't think I have enough of things like that at the moment to make that happen. So you might have to leave some space for such things. Um, yeah, and it appears not to be buildable in this. So, yeah, with that in mind, Cobalt Alloy and Titanium Plate are out of our reach. I'm going to put a harvest controller on there instead of a car a card container because I think that's going to be the better move just in terms of keeping things together because I just don't want to have it so that I you know drilling with it isn't an option and I think drilling with it is gonna have to be an option at some point um, but right now this ship is going to be pretty basic and I think we're going to have to build on it. Um, I wanted one of those but I've used them both. Um, no, screw it. Screw it. I've changed my mind. I... I'm not going to use one of those. Or am I? I haven't decided. <laughs> This is, this is the voice of indecision here. Um, hmm. What I'd be tempted to do is put one down the middle there. Because ultimately, I think my thrusters are going to go on the side and out for now. Just for now, I, again, I'm not sure this is going to be the final configuration. This is going to be a work in progress ship. So a bit like the hover vessel. This ship is going to have a lot of work in progress stuff going on. So I think for now we're going to keep. Should we say minimal? on thruster you thruster usage so that let's not go here so that we have maximum resources for upgrades later so I'm going to put um, I don't want to go that minimal I think it, that'll be okay minimal, but I don't want to go that minimal if I can help it. So what I want is to get to these. Okay, apparently I need to unlock the small RCS. Not sure how useful RCS is in Reforge. Open question to the comments there. How useful is it in Reforged? Um, yeah, I'd almost be tempted to put a large generator on there if I can, um, and go, how many of these do, am I going to want? Probably minimum, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14 is how many I'd like to have so let's have let's go for 14 see if that's even a possibility and in the meantime ah yes the other thing I wanted a big generator if I can have one 
So in the meantime, let's put a bunch of these other bits ready to put them on or in or wherever they're going to go. So we have a harvest container and let's keep that one to one side for a minute and let's uh, put that in. And let's put that there. We'll get the blocks again in a minute. Because um, what I'm thinking for that light, I have found those lights are pretty powerful. So what I'm tempted to do for now is just have like that. And then probably put a thruster either side of it or I'm going to put some thrusters on the side here and we'll figure things out as we go it's gonna be a bit higgledy piggledy I think to start off with so I'm going to want the detector and I think that's gonna go in my standard detector location which is here and then this is gonna go in that standard location there And then I want kind of the fridge and bits at the back. So I'm going to put oxygen here and here and probably there too, he says. Um, yes. I suspect there too. Now this, this might end up being like that. So that it blends in to there. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Because ultimately, these come. That's the one thing about this cockpit, which might end up with me changing this cockpit out. It's a bit of a weird shape to deal with. So it gets kind of funny. Um, I think we'll go there and bring that one back. like that and then I'll probably put the main container which would be the harvest container here then later we'll have to figure out a position for an ammo container later on so that's going to be the harvest controller that'll be a full block that'll be a full block that'll be same as this and that will be the same as that on the other side and then we'll skin that over with normal blocks and again this is where I'd probably go normal block normal block normal block then I want to put in a fuel tank which would go there and there and probably a generator and at the moment this has not got a massive capacity but it should be fine I mean I would probably end up putting more blocks down the side yet anyway but I haven't really worked out the shape. But what I'd like to do is get it to be able to move. So how many thrusts have we got? 11. We're doing all right. Um, I am surprised. We've got enough materials to do that. So that's pretty good. The other thing I need to see if I can get is a bloody multi-tool. 
So, my th thought was to stick it like there. Um, perhaps like that. Sure, why not? And one the other side. Like so. And here we're going to have possibly a similar approach further back hmm. Good. try and work out how I'm going to do this so this is going to come out a block and right okay so here comes a bit of jiggery pokery to how I'm going to make this work is where we get the carbon substrate blocks because we can use these to sort of make ourselves stay up now so let's go with a couple of those there and there and I am gonna build out here a couple of blocks and we'll bring that down to three at the same height. Uh, I want to say one, two, three from there. But one, two, three, no, one more. There we go. And the same on this side. One, two. And I'm not sure that's actually going to work. I might have to go an extra one. So that will make things look weird. You know, I actually kind of like that in an odd way. <laughs> kind of like that. I might have to look at doing a ship like that later. A lifter. It's got this weird sort of look to it. But the idea being I can now basically take these blocks out from underneath without there being too much in the way of consequences. Um, I can put some of these blocks in. Uh, probably like that and let's see maybe we can put the big generator in if we've made it yep put the big generator in so that'll give us plenty of power yoink um, and then we're gonna have some lift thrust back here Like so, I should have done this with mirror on, but never mind. Some lift thrust back there, like so. Some reverse thrust. Or forward thrust, should I say. Like so. And yeah, and at least for now, I think we're getting close to what, what we want, because that's going to give how much cargo? 2,000 something. It's not amazing amounts of cargo, I realize, but it's not going to be terrible. Um, and this is going to have plenty of fuel and go plenty of distance. So again, I'm probably going to go there, there. This one might end up tapering. I'm not sure. Because I would probably taper that block for now. So I, I'm i probably going to do this block like this. Yep. And on both sides. Uh, you've got to bear in mind when you're doing this, you've got to keep, obviously, the, the containers all working together as they need to work together. So that. That. 
And then I don't know where I'm going to put the the things like armor locker and stuff like that. Because, yeah, I probably want to put the O2 gen in here, maybe? I don't know, I'm really flying by the seat of my pants on this one. This is a very wing, winged up design of how anything's, anything's going to get built. I mean, my temptation is actually to hide the armor locker altogether. Um, or stick it under, down the side here somewhere. Um, so maybe a fridge would go here. And I'm going to put another full block here. And possibly another full block there. Because I'm not going to put a constructor on board for now. Again, that might be something that comes later on. And that one might end up being shaped. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. A little tipping over is not a big problem. Let's get rid of this block. Yoink, yoink, yoink. There we go. Should be fine. Again now, somewhere along the lines. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to put, for the front thrust, I'm going to put yeah, I'm going to put a block here it says a block here I'm going to put the thrusters on there I have a thought of how this might go so that would be the thrusters on there and then with my eventual plan being to have a Gatling gun sticking out underneath and possibly one down either side. So this area here would then become the ammo area. Now the ammo I would probably not have directly accessible from underneath. I will actually put the actual block the ammo buried within because I can use Wi-Fi to transfer it to it. Now, strictly speaking, that's a bit gamery, but everyone does it, so I'm going to do it. So that's going to go there, and that's going to give me at least some space for ammo. And then the rest of this, we can look at sort of paving over and sorting out later because yeah that should give me quite a bit of storage there 4,000 something um, enough on should have enough lift and I wanted to put another thruster in the back here was also the plan like that says let's put that that way that way around that way around so we've got a third thruster in the back the one thing we're missing now is side thrust which I might have wanted to put in there to be honest um, which I might end up taking those blocks out for I mean they're only made with a bit of steel plate so it's not a big loss can I actually use the menu correctly right we're gonna take these off now because we don't need them anymore and we'll put some side thrusters out there and this one and this one can go and this one and hopefully in a minute that will fall down on its own while we're while we're in the other room warming up so here we're going to ask for another bunch of these I'm gonna ask for a couple of Gatling guns, if I can have them. How much CPU? A thousand. 
Ooh. Um, that's going to be kind of heavy on the CPU usage. Also, um, mm. this is the one thing that makes me possibly want to consider, which I may end up doing, it may end up going in here somewhere and getting paved over as well, is putting a constructor in. Um, because it's very handy, but constructors use a lot of CPU. We're at 2000 something at the moment. Uh, how much does a constructor use for the CPU? I can't actually build it at the moment. This is 300. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. They've changed it. That's good. Um, okay. I'm happy with that. We'll use... We'll, we'll make one. I'm I'm buying. I'm buying. It's Because it's good to have those. Because they're really freaking handy. You know, worse comes to worse, you can grab, re you can pick up some bits and resources and grab what you need. So, ooh, we've not got enough cobalt to make that though. So we'd have to take the other one apart because we've not got enough cobalt alloy to make that. So, okay, constructor is not going to happen right now. And we're starting to run down on supplies of some stuff so cobalt we've got some but clearly we're not able to make enough cobalt alloy for that um thrusters gatling guns so let's have a look we'll grab a few gatling guns see if we can chuck them on so the idea was to tag a gatling gun Let's see what they look like now. They look different in the picture, but are they basically the same? No, they are not. Um, okay. So, that's slightly different to what I've planned. Okay. So that might end up going like there. there and opposite side is that one forward or is that not right level with there so there so there there and there and two remaining thrusters will be here Here. Ah, I didn't need to actually take those blocks out because that's going to work the way it was supposed to anyway. Never mind. And the one thing I haven't included, which I'm going to need to include, um, which might end up with me taking out a couple of blocks here and there and seeing if we can make everything work still, which I think it will, is um, I'm going to need... some down thrusters now they may well go here on the outside i probably will not have as much in the way of down thrusters as i do the rest so see if i can make a couple more of those thrusters but down thrusters are at least less important in gravity the main reason i'm going to need them is if i go to space But yes, in the short term, they're less important. Um, let's take that off now. Don't need any of that. There we go. And this will be our flying machine. Which, as I say, it's going to look a little interesting to start with. Oh, I've got more than I expected. Okay, fine. I, I did incorrect maths. Are you still going? Oh, cancel. Never mind. All right, fine. Uh, in which case? Yes, because we've got four up, 
thrusters. And see, I even may end up moving these up thrusters down and moving this whole bit down um, or moving these up. But I'm not sure I like that. I'll have to think about that. Those might move up and just have the little underslung gun. That might happen. Yeah, that might happen. So we'll think about that. Those might end up changing, but hopefully that will be when I've got a multi-tool. I may be able to build a multi-tool already. I haven't really tried yet. So that one and that one are just going to go there. As I say, I can probably build out with some more boxes here of a sort. Um, like here, and this might change shape slightly. But we'll have a look at that. And I might build down with a few more card containers. But at the moment, 4,000 is pretty good. That'll be fine. Um, we've got plenty of thrust. We've got space for ammo. We've got space for... Or well, we've got plenty of guns. So we should be okay. Just need some Gatling gun ammo now. Um, what have we got here? Not a vast amount. Question. What do those guns use? Yeah, 12.7 rounds. I thought they might. So we need to build a bunch of those rounds. So let's build another a thousand. Let's see if we can build about 3,000 rounds here. It's going to be quite a bit. I might need to grab some trees from in, from in here, but we have no shortage. I'll do. 28 trees will be fine. So let's go there. That should be plenty for that. Otherwise, I think we're going to be good to go. It's already getting dark. Let's grab a bunch of the fuel we've got at the moment. We've got a Wi-Fi. Let's chuck the fuel in the tank. Yoink. There we go. And let's see how we do. Uh, lights? No. Okay. We'd think the lights would come on. Let's uh, power lights. Oxygen we don't have. Pilot mode we want. Okay. Okay, we are pretty nippy. Woo! Okay. A little bit more nippy than planned. Holy crap. Okay. We have the pitch and roll of a freaking... Oh my lord. Okay, let's... uh have a look at my stats here my freaking roll is insane um yeah my roll is 200 and something degrees a second can i take that down to like 50 percent okay it's still pretty twitchy but um oh god oh god okay that's that's pretty that was pretty awful let's uh pull that back so we can see a bit better okay um yeah you know what i don't seem to have done i haven't put that's what i'm missing that's what i haven't put on i haven't put on the rear side to side thrusters which should give me a lot more turning capability than what I've got, which is why my pitch and roll are insane. Um, but my turning is, oh God, I apologize to everyone who gets motion sick because, oh my Lord, that is, that is twitchy. I might need to do a little something about the pitch and roll. Um, well, not so much the pitch, the pitch is fine, but the roll. 
I might need to drop that roll setting down further. So let's hop out the bus a second. And let's reduce that roll a bit further down to about 0.25. Let's do that. So that that's going to be a bit more sensible in terms of numbers. Hopefully, I mean, it still says a lot, but hopefully that will up. No, it's not going to update. OK, let's do it from in the cockpit and see if with the, maybe I need to have the power on. Let's see if that will update. No, it's not going to do it by typing it. Fine. Point two. That'll probably do. OK. And then I need to put on the thrusters I've missed. Which means it's a good job I have a couple of spare thrusters, isn't it? Um, so I missed putting on some side thrust down here. Which probably would go... Like that, he says. Because the further away you have these things from the center of the ship, the better your maneuverability will be. So hopefully if I do it like that, and then we do it, we'll pop out. I know it's pretty dark. We'll turn the night vision on. But now, our actual yaw is a lot better. Our roll is under control and our pitch and yaw is better. Okay, car noises for an aeroplane. I know, I know, it's what I do. Right, now maybe I will tart this up a little bit off camera. Who knows, um, if you're lucky. I will tie it up a bit off camera, but I'm not going to go too crazy because ultimately it's going to be a work in progress and there's some things to add on to here. So yeah, this is going to be something that gets worked on a bit yet. But that was a very build heavy episode and next time we are going to be going over to the trading station. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe as always, and join us again next time when we'll head over to the trading station. And if you're still here, sling me a name for the ship in the comments and we'll see what we can come up with for a name. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.